Hi everyone, it's Tina with TSR Creations. Been really busy this holiday season with getting um, commissions done and just, you know, keeping the things up in my shop. So it's been really kind of hectic for me. So I haven't been able to just paint. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. So what I have here are the prison pours. Um, if you're unfamiliar with color art, go check them out, www.colorart.com. Dot com. You can save 20% off with my coupon code. I'll put it down below. It's TSR921. Um, but they have some great products. And today I'm going to be using the Prism Pours, which are um, acrylic paints, metallics. Um, and this is the Winter Wonderland series. Okay. And we're gonna go through some colors. I'm gonna show you how I um, mix them up real quick too. So you don't have any question about that. Now there are directions on the back, um, but I tend to add just a little bit of Floetrol and if needed, water. Um, Floetrol, remember will, if whatever pouring medium you're using, you can use whatever pouring medium you want. Um, Golden, Liquitex Basics, whatever you'd like, but I, I, I prefer Floetrol, it's my, um, pouring medium of choice um, and it can dull your paint a little bit but with these I find I don't find any issue so I like to use it so the first color I'm going to be doing well I don't know if I'm going to be using all these colors but I just wanted to show you these colors in the winter wonderland series this is royal galaxy that's a purple and then I have Baltic amber very pretty like coppery color I have a gold and this is Mayan gold. I have a kind of like a, well, it's called poinsettia. <laughs> so it's like a ruby red. And I'm gonna show you a couple of these mixed up. Um, and then I have ambrosia, which is a really pretty, kind of like pinky gold color. I like that one. And then I have peacock, like a teal. And then true silver, which is just silver. Okay, so I'm not sure what colors I'm gonna be doing or what I'm actually going to do today, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you these these new colors in the Winter Wonderland series and um, show you how I mix them up. So I'm gonna actually mix up a little bit extra for these and I'm gonna be mixing them in um, squeeze bottles, I think. Um, some of the colors, not all of them. But um, I will show you how I do that. All right, I might be using a little Payne's Gray in my painting as well today. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get set up here and I will show you how I mix them up. Okay. Okay, so I have these um, eight ounce squeeze bottles. So let's mix up, let's mix up the poinsettia because I'm definitely gonna wanna use that. So I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Hold on, let me put these over here, all right? So, I'm just gonna unscrew it and I'm going to put in, now these are two ounces. I'll probably just do the whole thing. So I'm gonna put two ounces. And you can see the paints are a little thinner, not as heavy bodied as um, in a traditional two paint. It's more like a deco art paint. So I'm just gonna let that sit. I wanna get it all out. All right, so let's do that one. And then let's do the peacock. I like using um, squeeze bottles. Um, especially if my paints are going to be sitting for a while and just um, because you can just add what what you need um, to thin them out if they get a little thicker but I've had paints in squeeze bottles for hmm, probably like two years now and it's still fine um, if I turn the camera behind me you see all the bottles of paint I have in squeeze bottles um, for my normal pores when I just use float I just use Floetrol and water. 
Now, if you're doing a pearl pour, you have to actually do a different recipe. So, but for my normal swipes and stuff like that, I use my squeeze bottles usually. All right, so I'm gonna let that one sit there. What other color should we do? Um, let's do the purple. And this is Royal Galaxy. I'm not going to do all the bottles of paint. Okay. So let that one go. What other, oh, I definitely want to do this, but I'm not going to do all of this. And this is the Ambrosia. So I'm just going to put, if I can do it this way, I'm just going to squeeze some into my little cup. Let me see what I'm doing. And I'm going to do the silver. Oh, pretty silver. And let's do the gold. Paints gray. I'll do a little bit of paints gray. And this is paints gray golden fluid. All right, and this is my flow trawl. Um, I'm just gonna move you so you can see a little bit better. There we go. Um, this is my flow trawl, and I strained it. All right, and I'm just going to pour. Actually. Do I have? I have my flow in here, so this is easier. I have it in a squeeze bottle, and it'll be easier to put it in here. So I'm just going to put in a little flow trawl to each of these. And let's mix them up. So obviously this is gonna this is a little too thick yet. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more flow trawl. And probably a little this flow trawl seems a little thicker. And a little water. Until I get to the consistency that I like. And I think I'm just going to be doing that's not bad, but a little water. That's good. See? I don't want it too thin. I want it kind of like warm honey running off my stick. Can you see that? Okay, so that's good. Maybe just a touch, drop. Okay, good. All right, so that was the Mayan gold. All right. So I'm not gonna make you sit here with me and mix all these up, but so you get the general idea. I'll mix one of the bottles up real quick so you can see. Ooh. See how that is. Get a stick and just try to get everything out of here.
There's probably a little bit more in here, so I'm not going to do all of that. But that is about two ounces. And then I'm going to pour, I'll do one ounce first of the flow trawl just to see how that works. And then I shake it. That might be good. I need a little bit more water. A little bit more flow chill. Okay, perfect, and that's perfect. All right, so that's all I do. I will mark this um, with a um, Sharpie. Sometimes I'll put tape on it, but I'm just gonna do it like this today. I usually have labels somewhere. Do I have labels? No, all right, I'm just gonna mark this. So this is poinsettia. Color art prism pour. All right, so then I know that's what I have in here. All right, so guys, that's basically it about mixing the paints. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope this helped and answer any questions if you had any about the prism pours. And um, I'm going to get started. I'm going to finish mixing my paints and then I'm going to get started on a cool painting or coasters or something. I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. All right. So I decided to do some coasters. Um, these are not the bloom technique. This is, you saw me mix the paints up. It's just flow trawl and water. Um, but I do these little swipey coasters. I got these on Amazon. You can see I taped the back because um, I will be putting resin on these. Um, and you just want to keep the, it's just easier for me it's easier clean up and um, I mean even though you're gonna be putting cork on the back um, it just makes my life easier so I have three sets I'm gonna be doing those doing some fun colors and um, I might add in some different colors but we'll see um, but right now I'm just using the prism pores that I mixed up and the one um, golden Payne's gray all right so let's get started I hope everybody's doing great out there if you have any questions give me a holler um, and uh, I just thank you so much for supporting my channel I'll see you soon but let's get started I'm excited We're on our way to the ground And I don't love you the 
It's a different kind of lonely It's a different kind 